Hey, I chonga. I feel like a property. I could feel like a property. Chonga is into as cool. Things are tough. It's crazy. I don't know how much money I've spent last month just on fixing broken taps, fixing plumbing, leaking, fixing electricity problems, fixing geysers. I don't know how much I've spent on those things. I am stressed financially. I'm drained emotionally. I feel like, you know what, I just want to throw the towel. But throwing the towel is not an option. I can't because I'm a property investor and I know that owning a property it is a long-term investment. It comes with ups and downs. It's got pros and cons. So the cons, when they come, you need to be read. You need to be ready financially. You have no choice. And if you don't know that being a property investor, email is one of the things that you need to have. Leo, what you know, property doesn't need money. That's not true. Property investment needs money. How are you going to fix a leaking tap if you don't have money? How are you going to paint your house if you don't have money? How are you going to fix a broken geyser if you don't have money? Do you know how much a geyser costs? Hey! <laughs> so, go finally go to Ubenayo, Imari, to budget for such things. So, I have learned you know, throughout this journey of property investment, that cash is king in property. It is king, guys. So every month I have to save for maintenance. And that choice, you know, 5,000 rands has to be saved because these things, they just randomly come, boom, someone will call you. Ma'am, tenant says that the, 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 the tap in the kitchen is leaking so you need to call a plumber and the plumber remember he's got a color fee he's got labor he's got material and that is going to be covered by the owner so if our cost is for such cost you are going to have to go borrow that money because it tenant sometimes abaco patient I don't know about patient shame. Yo, because um to nala in Takiman that you know what I'm paying you rent. So therefore take that money, you know, and fix whatever that is broken. You know, that money that you receive, you will take it, you pay the bond, whatever that is left, then you save it for ready. Sometimes that sometimes the money just break even when it comes to rent because you it just covers the expenses and that's it and you get get nothing out of that so if it's a but no i've paid rent yes the rent all went to the bond you know i had to pay the rates i had to pay the agent his fees so it's it's crazy it's crazy so it is you know that i'm i am here to share with you that in maintenance it's part of property investment and as a property investor you need to save for such i am telling you because if you don't save you're going to find yourself wanting you are going to be stressed you're going to end up borrowing money you're going to indebt yourself because it's not the, they just come randomly without plan and you need to plan for such and what else also i've learned with property investment is that it it exposes your money behavior it does if you're not a person that plans or manage their monies, it's going to expose you. Because if this rainy days comes, you don't have the money, that means you didn't plan for it. If the rainy days comes and then you decide you're not to buy a bag, expensive bag, it's going to expose you. But when like, you don't manage your finance as well. So, I is your color, but again, I am here for it. I am here for it. I'm not going to give up because I've got plans for that house. You know, certain is that it was like, Sizi, you need inner peace, Moss. So your inner peace, your inner peace is to sell this and this property becomes somebody, somebody else's problem. So why do you have to worry yourself about it? Put it in the market in three months' time, you're going to make your money and then you walk away. I'm like, no, I'm not. I've got a business plan for this property. 
I need to get funds so that I can build at the back and put units that I can more, make more money and push out the market value of the property. So selling it is not an option. So uh, like even the new like properties, like your new developments, there will be times where you're going to have to spend money on maintenance. There's no guarantee that because you're buying a, a new development um, property, there won't be any challenges. There will be challenges. Sometimes you find that the new ones have more challenges than the old ones. <laughs> because why developers, they cut costs when it comes to building material. They use Sometimes they use cheap labor. Sometimes they use cheap material. So therefore, you find yourself as a as an owner spending money on just fixing your property whereas it's just six months or three months old so yeah that's my story and guys property investment is a long-term journey it's a long-term investment so when these things come you know don't give up dust yourself up and face a challenge pay what needs to be fixed and then you move because at the end of the day, if we don't leave her inheritance for our children, what's going to happen to them when we leave this earth? You know, because I know, what, you know, what makes me to sleep at night is the fact that I know my my kids are covered. If I leave, they will have millions that I have also covered. A life, I have a life cover that will cover for the bond. When you know I die, it will be paid up, and my kids. You know, we get whatever is left. So it's it's good. Say kala, mas kala banta God bless and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for being part of the family that has subscribed. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe for good content. This channel is all about being, being authentic. It's about sharing real stories. So I'm going to share everything that I've experienced in property investment, the good, the ugly, and the bad. <laughs> Today, we are sharing about the bad. <laughs> so yeah, keep well. God is good all the time. And property investment is the future. We need to leave an investment for our loved ones and for our children. So keep well and let's invest in those properties. <laughs>